What's up? My name is Kuwani and I'm your intergalactic rave demon from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm here with Meow Wolf for their virtual pride week. So today I'm going to show you how I create my alien reptile eyes. Um, it's beautiful, scary, hypnotic, and just a little quirky. So uh, let's see how this comes out. Hi, welcome back. Uh, I did my base and my brows off camera, and uh, now we're gonna jump into the exciting, crazy parts of the eye. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my top lid first um, before I start creating the like illusion of the rat reptile eyes. I think for this um, makeup, I'm gonna go with like a pink purple type of vibe. So I'm going to go in with a deep uh, magenta um, just where I want my new crease to be. Okay, so I just kind of like throw it on there because it's going to be blended um, eventually and there's going to be a lot more shades added. So just a good like general area for it. Something I really like to do is I take my eyeshadow all the way to like the like edge of my eyebrow and then I'll flick up but we'll do that later. Let's see, I'm going to grab a pretty fluffy brush and just gonna blend it all out and make sure you like drag it um, to the edge of the brow because that's really what's gonna give your face that like then just little circular motions great awesome I'm gonna say that's a good start so now I'm going to go in with a deeper shade so now in with this purple um, into the crease. Let's see, so my natural like crease is like down here. So yeah, I really lift it up. <laughs> you know, there might be some fallout, but you don't really have to worry about this part of the eye too much because we're gonna like paint over it again. That's that's what I love about being edgy or doing edgy makeup, because like if it looks bad, just make it look worse. Okay, so um, after I'm done blending all that out, I'm going to uh, do my wing so I can have my whole upper lid done and then I can start onto the lower half of the eye. So um, I'm just going to get my eyeliner, put it uh, just above my lashes and then just like look up um, just so I can get like a baseline of where I want my liner to be. Okay, so I have a little line right there. So I can just connect this. This is a new eyeliner for me, so it's beautiful. It's very black. Okay. So I like to bring in my eyeliner further inner towards my nose, um, just so it makes my eye look really big, and then it just makes my eye look super snatched too. Um, so the way I kind of like calculate where I want that line to be is I look at my eyelid basically and the angle that it goes in and then I just draw like slightly above it um, parallel um, and that usually gives me a good eyelid. Um, so to get the tail end of my um, wing, I like to start it like a little further out from my eye. Um, just again give me bigger eyes so I'm going to go like right here That's pretty good drag it across it's gonna look like a bit great <laughs> so now I just need to replicate that on the other side so now on to the fun part um, so I am going to get just a little brush and then my white foundation. So um, I got some of the white paint on there. And I'm just going to um, sketch out my eye shape. Wow, the way I decide how big my eye is going to be is I just look at how big my bags are because <laughs> that's a really good like um, pinpoint for it, I guess. So my bags go down to here because I'm very tired. I don't know why I started like 
doing this makeup like um it's just really fun and crazy like i like to be like an alien or like a creature whenever i'm in drag so i feel like making these kinds of eyes just um you know plays on that more so now i'm going to set this with uh some super white from ben nye so now we can sketch out the eye or like not sketch it out define it so i'm just gonna go in with that same brush that i was using to put the colors in my crease and i'm just going to put them in my lower crease So before I do the eyeliner again, I'm going to define my nose. I like to put my eyeshadow into my nose contour. Kind of just to ties it a little bit. Okay, and then my favorite part, I am going to put some eyeshadow above my eyebrow. It's amazing. It's really it's a lot of fun. Kids love it. Parents love it. It's recommended a lot. So. And go back in with the wow, eyeliner okay. to uh, seal it all up. Okay. Now let's do some like defining parts of the eye with some black, like making sure that these parts are really. So now we can add cute little details uh, before we get onto the pupil. I'm going to go in with like a pink eyeliner and I'm just going to make like little veins on the outsides of my eye and I'm going to make a little pink pocket right here so it kind of like looks like, I don't know what it's called, the inside of your eye. <laughs> So I kind of want to sketch out my pupil first because I'm scared. <laughs> I really find this illusion works best if you do like a bright color around the pupil. So I think I'm going to do like a, let me see what would go best with this. I'm just going to do like red, I think. The way I decide how my pupil goes is um, I look into the mirror, I look straight down, and then um, I kind of get my eyeliner or something and I just like from the center of my eye, just drag it down. So now I am going to draw my pupils from the center of the, uh, like the little black part of your eye, and just drag down. So looking, always stay looking straight into your mirror. Um, That's about how wide my iris is. And then I'm just going to make like a triangle, but slightly curved from the bottom. Wow, it's an okay. You see you have your little outline there and you can just fill that in. Now I'm gonna put some black eyeliner on my waterline just to fill it all in. So I'm gonna go back in with some white eyeliner just to add some shine to these eyes. They look a little flat. So I'm gonna add a little right back here and circle. And now we're just going to create more veins and make fake lashes um, for the bottom half to really make these look like eyeballs. Okay, so I think that about wraps it up for these eyes. These are really, f <laughs> this is like a fun look. Um, I feel like it's kind of like mesmerizing to look at because you're like, where are those lights at? And yeah, so it's just really fun. Um, my take on like an reptile person being, and yeah, so I'm going to go put on the rest of my drags, put on some blush, some highlighter, and a cute wig, and I will be right back. Welcome back. Here I am with the finished look. It's like a pretty girl Barbie reptilian space monster that likes to eat people. I'm really happy with how this came out. It's a little edgy, it's kind of 
glamorous. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this trip. I would love to see any recreations of this look of any other reptile people in the world. Tag me on Instagram. Follow me at Coolwani, K-O-O-L-W-A-N-I. And on Twitter, I'm at Killwani. It's kill and then w-a-n-i i'm also on youtube um just look up kuwani and you should um find me i'm constantly putting out art um wow, doing okay. looks makeup paintings um rolling trays check out my saints ball sisters um for this week meow's virtual pride um we're gonna have some performances um some interviews some discussions so uh, make sure to stay tuned for all of that um so follow meow wolf and yeah thank you for joining us and have a good day